Today, I wanted to share with you my Notion setup that helps me increase the productivity of tracking my finances. And by the way, this video is not about a step-by-step -step Notion tutorial. There are many, many videos like this out there already. Instead, I will focus more on how I use Notion for tracking things like my income, expenses, budgeting, subscriptions, and also my financial goals. So let's get started. All right, let's take a look at my Notion finance dashboard. This is the homepage of my personal finance tracker, an all-in-one Notion system where I have everything I need for managing my finances. And by the way, everything you see here is sample data for demo purposes only. You can download my finance template if you want. I will link it in the description box below. On the left menu panel, I've created multiple sections to organize different areas of my finances, such as account manager, budget planner, and goal tracker. These are the shortcut buttons to help you add new reports easily right from your home dashboard. And then next, we have the expense and income tracker and the bank transfer tracker. I also have the assets and liability manager to help organize my investments, savings, and loan tracking, followed by subscription tracker, payment tracker, and receipt tracker. Here you will find a net worth dashboard, monthly financial reports, which I have automated, a time widget on the right, and an upcoming payments reminder. Now let's take a look at my financial goal tracker. I created this tracker to keep track of my money goals in different areas such as earning, savings, investment goal, and so on. To set my goals easily, I use this goal calculator. I can allocate the percentage I want for categories like savings, investment, debt, repayment, and it will automatically calculate my yearly targets in this column. This helps me decide the number I can set for my financial target, such as how much money I want to earn, save, invest, and the amount of debt I aim to pay off this year. There is an automated column here that pulls all the data I enter and tag as income reports, so I don't need to manually update the total income. The financial reports will display the aggregated amount, and this applies to the total savings, invested amount, and mortgage as well. Next, we have the budget planner. I've already demonstrated the budget planner template in a previous video, so feel free to check it out to see how it works. I created a spending tracker to monitor all expenses, whether they are personal or tax deductible or business related spending. If I want to record a grocery expense, I can link this record to both my monthly and yearly reports. I'll also add a category like grocery spending then I can specify which bank card I used for this expense. For example, I will select the debit card savings account. Make sure to remember the total amount before we deduct it because I want to show how the automated calculation works in this template. Back in the expense tracker, I will enter the amount spent, let's say $70. You can also mention the service provider, upload a receipt if you have one, and check if the expense is tax deductible. On the account balance section, you will see that your debit card has been deducted automatically. This feature is definitely a game changer because it helps you stay on track with your bank balance in real time. But what if I want to see my spending habits? You can do this by going to the expense report. This report will automatically break down your expenses by category. For example, if we add a new category like entertainment, it will update and show the breakdown here. This is my income tracker in my Notion setup. We can start by adding a new record. Let's say you receive freelancing income, and then you can link this record to both your monthly and yearly reports. In the subcategory, you can select the relevant category for this income. In this case, we will choose freelancing. Next, I'll specify which account I'm using for this income transfer. Let's say you are using the debit card savings account again. Then I will enter the amount of the income, let's say $500. For provider, this can be your client name. You can also add an income statement if you want. Now let's go back to the income record. In the account balance section, you will see that the debit card savings balance has increased because we just added the freelancing income. So everything in my Notion tracker is updated in real time. You can also create your own subscription tracker in Notion to keep track of your recurring payments, due date, and total subscription cost. You can categorize your subscription such as by entertainment, software, and business. 
I've added a custom filter here to view subscriptions that are active, overdue by a certain number of days, and those I have cancelled. Let's test it out and see how the tracker works. Add a new subscription record, specify the last purchase date, let's say today, then enter the price of your subscription. Frequency refers to your payment terms, so if you select monthly payment, you will notice it will automatically calculate the next billing date, and if you switch to yearly payment, the next billing date updates accordingly. I've also added a countdown feature so that you can see exactly how many days are left until your next payment. This subscription tracker also works as a reminder, so if I go back to the home dashboard, you will see the upcoming payments display on the right hand side. 